Try to display it a few more times to get a nice, better looking effect. Uh, I created a new AI display smudge display, so I just displaced the smudge layer we just did. So now that looks pretty cool, but this side here is pretty much empty. So let's add some uh, brush in here. Okay, so brush, and let's, let's actually keep the style the same, so let's use grunge. And, uh, nice grunge. That looks good for right corner. And we just did it a bit there, so let's do it a bit more. Okay, now change the brush again. Could help if we were using the right color for that. Okay. So that looks good. Now what we want to do is kind of something different that you might not be familiar with. We're going to do apply image again. And this time we're going to wave it. Now I learned about this effect a long time ago. We're just going to go to filter distort wave and do square and wrap around. No, 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 not wrap around. And let's increase the size a bit. To get a nice effect you're looking for. And okay. So I have big blocks of uh, waves. And what we want to do is just lower the opacity a bit. Let's unhide our render layer. And start erasing parts that you do not like. Let's go into the basic brushes and do that. Increase the opacity a bit, increase the size. Let's just start erasing parts that do not match the current side of our document. some of that lighting up there. And we want some of the sort of grungy look over here. Alright. So now the really cool part of the signature is the clipping masks. So before we add the clipping masks, let's create a group called the Core Signature. Let's just move everything we have done so far inside the core signature group. Let's just drop that down so it's not crowding our uh, layers list in here. And create a new group called Clipping Masks. Okay. Now what we want to do is take all of what we have here and do apply image again like we have done before and drag it to the clipping masks layer. Let's just call it AI. And duplicate that twice. Okay. Now, we need to create a shape that will fit our flow of the document. 
So we need to create a clippy mask shape. So I grab the pen tool, or could just actually for a better way without going in depth on the pen tool. Let's just get a rectangle tool and create it horizontally. I'm um, created pretty large, and we want it white. And unhide the apply images layer. And let's actually resaturize that and go to blending options. Drop shadow and stroke is what we want here. So drop shadow and stroke. Stroke, change the size to 1 and lower the opacity. And drop shadow, just lower the opacity on that. Okay, so now I have a nice shape. Let's drag it below the first AI and unhide AI a bit and rotate the shape to fit the flow. And the flow is sort of like that. And move it, and let's turn snapping off and do it a bit more manually. So let's leave it about like right there. Maybe a tad bit more. Okay. So that looks good. And there is where our mask will be. So unhide the first AI, hold Alt, and drag your mouse between AI and Shape 1 and click. Now we want to move AI so we can get like a sort of a mix here. Let's change the overall clip masks to about 30%, 40%. And the effects are too much on the stroke, so let's lower the opacity a bit more. There we go, that looks pretty nice. And just keep moving until you find a nice place to stop. Now we're going to duplicate the shape. Move the bottom one above, and then move it to the left, and then unhide the first, the second AI, which is the AI copy layer, and do the same thing. We want to move it a bit. and basically just do the same thing. Duplicate the shapes layer. Move the one that's not connected above AI copy. Unhide AI copy 2 and do the same thing. And just, whoops, we want to move the shapes to there and just move our AI until you find a nice cool effect to use. Alright, so that is done. We just leave it as three. Uh, drop down the clipping masks and we can move the entire design over a bit. We could even scale it a bit this way if we want. But I'll just leave it like that. Alright, so that's the core effects that you saw on the signature on the left side here. So now what we need to do is just add our text. So I'm just going to go into our pre-made one here, drag our text there. And I'll show you what I did here. Now let's leave it here and maybe push our clipping masks a bit more that way. Alright, so the text we 